got a little bit of snow here in Idaho last night. It's not too terribly cold this morning. I think it's somewhere around 19 degrees. Warmed up a little bit yesterday. It's been a few days since this thing's been started. Let's see if I can get over here and forge my way to the snow to turn the batteries on. There. I always turn the batteries off every night because it'd be a shame for something to burn down. I'll go to the other side now, lift up the hood and check the check the fluids. Where's the handle? Oh, it's frozen. Whew. It's a lot of weight. <laughs> All See how she starts. It's a little cold. We'll let her warm up now. Well, now we're letting her warm up before I move it. I'm gonna go ahead and park it over here in the road, I think. And I'm going to grab one of those pine logs. What I'm doing today is I am here to change out that roller. It's in three pieces. So you can see how much arch this track has to it. And this one doesn't. Uh, I mean, it has a little bit barely. And that's because that roller shot. So I'm going to let this thing warm up. Maybe I'll we'll get a weed burner or something and chisel here in a minute. And once I move this to the road and that we can get to that roller. Got the uh, loader moved here into a good spot where I can work on that roller. I'm gonna, I think my plan of action here is I'm gonna use one of these logs I could mention to be able to stuff that idler front idler in to loosen the tracks um so that's why i moved it from its spot here into the road i guess now nothing to do but start chiseling away the ice and mud this mud's thicker than concrete i drive the pry bar in with a hammer i still can't even break it Well, here's the uh, setup I got going on. Got a little chain come along, wrapped around the track, and uh, picked it up so that hopefully I don't have to push that idler in, which will be nice. But you can see I got everything all all uh, out of the way, and there's nothing really left of this roller. We got our money's worth out of it, that's for sure. Here's the new one right here, and that's what it should look like. Quite a bit of meat in here. And it's wore completely down on that old one. So, I'll uh, see if I can get these bolts broke loose now. And uh, that fought me, so I went and got a three quarter drive set and uh, Get back to it. Once the uh, roller's out, I was able to get the bolts out, just slide it out over to here, and 
Then I made sure to clean all the surfaces. You don't want any dirt in between there because what happens is that dirt breaks down and then the bolts become loose. This is especially important on the track pads, but yeah, I'd say, uh, I'd say we got our money's worth out of this. new cat bolts and I'm gonna ne I never see them fueling it up now and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grease the machine and that way it's all ready for tomorrow got the machine greased and uh, fueled up ready to go for tomorrow for loading trucks out and uh, I just bought this grease gun and I am really really pleased with it I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on it for you guys um, just really exceeded my expectations on it but uh, gorgeous day out today. Man, it's beautiful. All right, stay safe, have fun. Talk to you later.